this class we discuss about the operation of neon lamp or cold cathode fluorescent lamp ccfl the name neon is derived from a greek word neos meaning new neon was discovered in 1898 by british chemists sir william ramsey and morris w travers neon is chemically inert and forms no unchanged chemical compounds neon is a colorless odorless inert monoatomic gas under standard conditions with about two third the density of air neon is commercially extracted by the fractional distillation of liquid air and is considerably more expensive than helium since air is its only source inventor of neon lamp in 1917 daniel mcfarlane moore a g general electric engineer makes his mark on lamp history by inventing the negative glow neon lamp he developed small bulbs with two electrodes neon gas glows immediately around the electrodes this is used as indicator lights on many devices it is still used in decorative christmas lights since the red light flickers and dances between electrodes similar to a flame a neon lamp is a miniature low pressure gas discharge lamp the term neon lamp is used to describe a ccfl that is cold cathode fluorescent lamp with a tube tube diameter less than 15 mm now we'll see the principal operation of a neon lamp the lamp is sealed with a glass tube this is a lamp sealed with a glass tube filled with a neon gas it contains neon gas when the tube is switched off under normal condition it contains ordinary atoms of neon gas that's the green color neon atoms only present inside the tubes when high voltage is supplied by using stepper transformer it starts pulling the neon atoms the voltage is between 10 kV to 15 kV some of the atoms use electrons to become positively charged ions this is a positively charged ions red color so the positively charged ions try to move to the negative terminals the electron neon atoms lose or negatively charged here the black dot is a negatively charged they try to move towards the positive terminal in all this rushing about atoms ions and electrons are constantly colliding with one another those collision generates a sudden smash of energy that excites the atomic ions and makes them give off photons of red light many number of collision creates a constant buzzing of red light from the tube buzzing means noise like a bee this is the principal operation of a neon lamp the next is we can obtain different colors in the neon lamp number 1 clear red or red or pink neon plus phosphor the combination we can obtain a red color number 2 blue green yellow by using phosphor plus argon plus mercury gas number 3 pinkish white that can be obtained by using helium gas plus white phosphor number 4 orange neon gas plus yellow phosphor Number five, whitish green. Instead of neon, we can use a krypton. We can obtain a whitish green. Number six, bluish white. Instead of neon, we use a xenon. We can get a bluish white. 
these are all the colors we can obtain from the neon lamp by using the neon plus some other material or helium plus phosphorus something <coughs> the advantages are number one good lumen per watt number two more reliable compared to light emitting diode disadvantages are number one diffused light it gives only a diffused light not good for any focused beam applications number two organ is not reliable at cold temperature there are two types of cold cathode fluorescent lamps one is a neon lamps another is a neon tubes neon lamps are used in indicators night lamps and polarity testers they are generally of 5 watts they consist of glass bulb filled with the neon gas they give orange pink light the electrodes are made up of iron or steel or copper and are spaced a few mm the lamp efficacy lies 15 to 40 lumens per watt a series resistor is connected in series to control the magnitude of current for example electrical tester the next is neon tubes these tubes are not used for lighting purpose but these are used for advertising purposes as neon signs and letters neon tubes with varying lengths are employed for advertising and decoration purposes these lamps are called as cold cathode lamps because its operating temperature is 200 degrees centigrade the tubes are mounted either on wooden frame or metal base the tubes are matched with the step up transformers the electrodes are made up of copper iron or steel in shape of round and housed at the two ends of the tube which is filled with neon gas and connection between letters are made by nickel wires the step up transformer secondary is grounded at midpoint for safety the length of the tube may vary from 2 to 10 meters they may be bent into any desired shape during manufacturing the diameter of the tube may be of 10 15 20 and 30 mm with the current of 25 30 60 and 150 milliamps the voltage required is 500 volt to 1000 volts per meter of the tube length for starting the neon tube requires twice its operating voltage capacitors are used to improve the power factor the capacity of the transformer should be of 50 to 100 volt ampere the transformer is made in a special manner with a magnetic shunt. As the tube warms up, its resistance decreases and the current increases. The simple transformer cannot serve the above purpose. Now we see the connection of neon lamps and neon tubes. This is an electrical tester. Here one neon lamp is there and the resistor is connected in series with the neon lamp to minimize the current. Next is a neon tube. Here Z, E, N, Z is the letters. The letters are connected with the nickel wires. And this is the step up transformer. The cold cathode tubes, the voltage drop is higher a voltage drop of 200 to 600 volt per meter is usual due to this a very high voltage is required for long tubes that is the reason we go for a step up transformer the average life of neon lamp is 10,000 hours we are connecting one capacitor in the primary side to improve the power factor now we will see the type of fault Fault 1. Neon lamp fails to operate. What are the causes? Number 1. Primary side connection may be wrong or short circuit in the primary side. Number 2. The transformer may be defective. That are all the causes. Fault 2. The neon lamp is flickering. Causes? Number 1. Primary side loose connection. 
number two primary voltage is very low this is a common fault occurs in the neon lamp with this i conclude my lecture thanks for listening